life happens. Road to success happens because it's not an easy road. It's bumpy. Maybe not so bumpy anymore. She got engaged in February, three days after her grandmother's passing, opened a hair salon in Montego Bay with her sister, and not sounding any more like the Chenille Muir who broke angrily with her manager Richard Flores last year. You ever lose two people in a two week, two house gone. So there was a disagreement based on a lot of different factors. So it wasn't just specifically towards money. I don't want to speak directly towards him because it's still a legal matter, so I will not address that. Instead, focused on where she's at right now. It didn't go the way I wanted it to, but it definitely happened the way it should have because now I'm at a place where I'm more focused, I'm more um, into what I want to do and put myself on a platform where I am in control. It's been tough taking back control. Did you miss the information that you really should have been paying attention yes, to? Yes, I did. Did you sign a bad contract? I <laughs> did not sign a contract, and that was the bad thing. That was the bad thing. So if I had signed a contract, maybe the issue that had happened would not have happened the way it did. And the way her break with management played out led to an emotional unraveling. Let me take a wicked blow <laughs> But take a wicked blow because it took a, a, a rift in me. It, not only my business, but me, my spirituality, and everything that makes Chanel Muir. So for me to take a hit like that, it, it really shook me. Chanel went live on social media with a tearful admission of what had transpired with Flores. Mr. Richard Flores, Richie Flores from Rebel Ace Music. I forgive you! Me, Chanel, if I give you. Because we were also hearing about dedicating your life to the to the Lord. Absolutely. And we're, we're hearing like uh, you were you had a kind of breakdown. I did. I can't live a life of sin no more. Not solely like that. I can't, I can't have one foot in and one foot out. When I did my life, I did my life for my fans and my real supporters. Unfortunately, haters are going to be watching as well, so they're going to take it and do whatever they want to do with it. But I was always and have always been real to my fans and supporters, so that was definitely a real part of me and it still is. So what was your takeaway from that whole episode of your just being in this extremely vulnerable sort of state? Two things. Not everything is for the media. <laughs> Not everything is for the media. And another thing, the media does help because that was my outcry. Because if I had not, then maybe there would not have been progress in what I was looking for. So not because somebody makes an outcry on social media means they're looking for attention. It's an outcry for help. You got the help you needed? I did. I definitely did. And <laughs> I wish it was faster, but you know, it's still, it's still going through the process. I'm very pleased with my lawyer. I'm very pleased with my team. Ciao. Things for talk about. But through the worst of it, there were performance commitments that had to be honored. Feeling of betrayal, feeling of being used. I felt like, okay, me no want to do this no more. Like, this is it. Me no want no more. Me no want no part of it. Because if people wicked so, me no want in it. <laughs> you know, me no want to feel it. Me no want to experience this again. I was in the airport, walking to the airport, and a fan came and said, Chanel, can I get a picture? And me just break down, me just, me just what a word. But even then, you had people that were like, oh, she come to the airport and she, them cover. Like, she don't want to chat to nobody, antisocial. And I was going through so much, but I didn't understand that. So that, that even that showed me that it doesn't matter what you do. People are gonna always talk, no matter what you're going through. So you have to take care of yourself first. You still feel like crying these days sometimes? Sometimes. Sometimes. Because make me generally. Anthony, I'm a re I am very real. Chanel today really happy in her personal life. Her fiance's been a rock. He's a partner that I have I haven't seen them in a while. Me not see them people about Anthony me to let you because you know, so I have to give thanks to him and I thank God for him every day. Every single day. He's been there 
along the way even this business he's been there he's been here physically mentally emotionally you think about it he's been there as for music there's a track that delves into her trauma recorded with new york based dancehall producer chemist can't fix the world if you try you go hurt yourself nobody can style me when me and me own a friend and again i use my life to speak to my music so I can speak to my audience. How would you describe the music you're making now? Is it gospel music or is it pop music? It is Chanel's music. <laughs> I could still do gospel music, but I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. And I'm not going to tell somebody, okay, all right, I'm the fan life, I'm the ball, and me are going, and it, it wasn't that. It was all real. Everything I felt was real. Everything I did was real. Everything that I said was real. So even now, this is real. That's just life. It's just unfortunate for some that don't understand that. You'll see the good side, and you're going to see the bad side, too. I would have changed my circle, but mine of your own day, they don't deserve. I knew the pain that I felt. I knew the betrayal that I felt. I knew how that made me and how it made me look beyond the cameras and in front of the cameras. So I know how impactful it was and I will never ever put myself in a situation like that again. Was it a kind of rock bottom? It was. It was. That was definitely rock bottom. For me, if I feel like there's nothing else but who I believe in to pick me up and dust me off and bring me back, that's rock bottom. <laughs> Not because you hit, hit a rock bottom means you can't come back out. Not because you have been in a particular situation, it means that you cannot make something of it and make, it, make, your, make yourself better in a sense. Sounds sensible. That's Chenille Muir, well on the road to recovery after a bad break with previous management. If you need to remove yourself from a situation, whether family, whether relationship, whether business whether it's whatever it is you have the courage to do it